New England Living is brought to you by Clark Sub-Zero and Wolf and Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England. And of course, please stop into the all new Seven Tide in the Seaport District in Boston. Today I'm on my way to Stowe, Vermont, the ski capital of the East, located in the valley between Mount Mansfield and the peaks of the Green Mountains and the Worcester Mountain Range. Before Stowe became a great spot to ski back in the 1930s, it attracted summer tourists. It said that the town only had two inns at the time, and when skiers later began filling up these inns, legend has it that the locals took them in, which created the spirit of hospitality that Stowe values today. Founded in 1763, Stowe is a popular resort destination year-round. The town, which has a population of about 4,000, is a great place to live and play. I'm on my way to meet homeowner and prominent designer Wendy in her 1842 renovated Cape Cod style farmhouse that sits right in the heart of Stowe Village. Wendy moved to Stowe 15 years ago. After spending years on the island of Nantucket, Wendy was ready for a change, but still wanted that charming New England feel. And that's exactly what she got in the village of Stowe. For Wendy, the in-town location of her 4,200 square foot home is ideal, as she's close to everything, coffee shops, restaurants, and of course, the mountain. And the Stowe lifestyle also works perfectly for this busy businesswoman, giving her the balance she needs with plenty of healthy, fresh air, friends, and outdoor activities. We're gonna meet this talented homeowner, take a designer's own home tour, then talk about life, check out the village, do some skiing, and then Wendy is going to turn her Chanel red lipstick kitchen over to a local chef and me, and we're going to celebrate New England living in Stowe, Vermont. Wendy? Parker. Hi. It's a pleasure. Nice to meet you. Nice Come on in. Nice to meet in. you. Ah, the mountain air. It's oh, great, I isn't it? I love it. I love that you have a fire going already. This is very Vermont, very welcoming. How long have you had this home? Uh, 15 years. It was built in 1842. I tore the roof off. I tore all the floors out. And then I opened the spaces. You know, your own place is a laboratory, so you try new things. You paint it bright red and use blue and white tile. Yes, I wanted to talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you look out the windows, we live in white for six months of the year. Yes. So you need to have some warmth inside. Okay, so this seems designed for someone who cooks, who loves to cook. This seems like a cook's kitchen, <laughs> yes. This is a cook's kitchen. <laughs> You'll like this. This is kind of crazy. This wow. Is, this is a thing that I love to do. It's well, really I'm linear wonderful. too, and I love a nice layout of something beautiful like this. So this yeah. works on so many levels for me in terms of organization. So nice and neat. I love my spice drawer. The piece de resistance <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> what I like. That's spicy. Yeah. yeah. So here's the living room. Wow. Oh, the ceiling in here. It's a hand-painted ceiling. The ceilings in this house are not as high as you would like. So I just thought I'd make them more interesting. And Mindy Jackson Jeffries, who has painted for me for years and years, did this ceiling. So she all yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> So this is the dining room. So I designed this. And as you look at the glass, you see the waves in the glass. Yes. So we use depression glass. And these cabinets are unique. You can pull the drawers in or, or you can pull the drawers out. On both sides? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so I don't have to go into the kitchen to go get something. I can just exactly. access it from here. And so we go upstairs? Sure. Right up here. So Parker, this is the guest room. Oh, wow. Oh. The toile, the red toile. The people call this the swan room. As you can see, we've got oh, the this swan. Okay, so there's plaid on the on the skirt. <laughs> there's there's obviously texture here. There's quilts for the the drapes. Um, yeah, they're the actually drapes. antique quilts that I made into drapery, so you, you can see that they don't match. It works. It does work. Every now and then, you get to just do exactly what you want. Yeah. So now we're gonna go see I what can't wait. I want. I can't <laughs> wait. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh my, <gasps> this is extraordinary. 
monochromatic, bold, 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 yeah. bold. Wow, I'm so glamorous in here. <laughs> I just love it. I love it. Wendy, you are something. It's kind of crazy. People go, this is your bedroom. I go, yeah, yeah. it is. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, look at that tub. Tell me one thing. You're in your bath. I'm call right. calling it bath right now <laughs> because I feel like I should. You're in your bath, and you're having your champagne. And we're having a business meeting, but I'm here. Right. And you're there, right? right? This is where you have all your your meetings. This is something I like too, honed stone. I don't like polished stone. And I like to use two inch depth. Okay. It gives it that meaty old world okay. flavor. So this is custom. And I love you know, this custom. Part too. This yeah. Is... That's a little detail that I do. No, I haven't seen that in a lot of homes where people do right. that over the backsplash. I like it to hold my flowers. Yeah. Well <laughs> <laughs> or candles or whatever. Yeah, it's perfect. You're thinking ahead. One more room, okay. <laughs> and it's a, not so much a room now, but it is a room in the summertime. Oh, this is sweet. This is where we do dinner parties. You know, this is where I have coffee in the morning. Um, we cook in the pizza oven. You've taken the best parts of all things old and brought them into style and modern. And just it's just about being cozy. My heart. <laughs> you know? yeah. It's just cozy, yeah. which is key. Yeah. New England Living is brought to you by Clark, Sub-Zero and Wolf and Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England. And of course, please stop into the all new Seven Tide in the Seaport District in Boston.